positionings for the summer regular split and FPX have unfortunately been a little onto Angel before he does oh. and he gets it. He's gonna outplay maybe here with Hacker coming around the edge, but it should just be a return as the flash comes through. He goes for the wrong one. one. Oh no! Shadow can't connect the damage. He's just gonna go down. Oh my goodness! We said they were a little bit salty, but it's Care who's angry. This is an absolute disaster for NIP. Across the whole way. He just traveled miles and miles. And how many miles he got to walk to go down into the dirt? Fotik picks up the kill. Our FPX, start buying those mech treads. You desperately need them. Like He's looking pretty aggressive. Chains of Corruption, though. And they turn back on the croc. He will get all out in Shala, who will take him out. These fights are scrappy, and that's exactly what we expected coming into this game. I feel like Invincible... Fotik doesn't have a lot of mana here. They're going to TP back, and there's the Pop Blossom. Two down, and Fotik falls to LWX. There's the Hex Gate out, and Shadow's playing with a little bit of that arcane. But uh, they I were able to before, touch him. Mizzel? Oh my goodness, there's no way he makes it out of here. <laughs> He's going to go for the Hex Gate. No! Oh, the he didn't make it. Oh, uh... Sedge. Well, I see collapsing pretty heavily. There's the pop blossom under turret though. Nobody's been able to damage him just yet. The turret is not helping yet. Now he goes down though. And that's a big Emperor's Divide to push Chocho out. That's NIP with a beautifully executed dive on a care. Pleaded, so they want to fight the pop blossom. It's on a three here as well. They got the knockups to follow. Invincible's just trying to lag behind, trying to get onto the team. He is locked down CC. Look at that decisiveness as FPX pick apart NIP piece by piece. Shadow's here as well. Dominus will not save you today, Invincible. It is a trade back and forth though. Invincible for hackers so far. As NIP want to keep pushing this, they realize they have him on the back foot and there's LWX's chains going out again. Angry Croc, is it gonna be enough though? You already lost Fotic without even using that Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Shadow tries to go in, but misses the Arctic Assault. They're trying to get in, but look at the back line oh, here. Invincible! Can. Invincible's trying to eat him up! Invincible can be the only savior at this point, but now he's put himself out like a dried piece Good of life. meat. As that's all she wrote there. Two kills to Hacker. Hacker goes on Angel over the wall. He has to go golden. And LWX has been free firing this entire time. They're just playing with their food at this point. And that's everybody but Shadow taken out. All right, wrap it up, boys. With the Hexel confirmed by LWX, he is going to be the main carry of this game one with absolute style on this Varus as well, considering how the early game... In these little moments, in these revenge moments for FPX. And they'll take at least game number one. We'll see if they can take them out one last time, trying to get some improved ADAs. And they will just wipe the board with them one more time before we exit. You know that FPX, that's all they're about. LWX did like 7.8k damage in the last play to securing that revenge plan that they've been looking out for. Feels so bad. Oh, not as, again. Uh, Hacker Tools does go badly. No, there's nothing you can do. Turn away and don't look. Oh, they don't get well. Jojo almost goes down, but Fotik will fall. Oh, Kara gets Angel solo getting killed by Angel there. So a little bit of revenge from last game. Doesn't get chased down either. Shadow is here to respond. So there is an answer. Shots fired back by NIP in mid lane. Isn't going to add the extra mechanical <laughs> stuff that he tried to add there. But you know, I'm going to oh, see the mechanics from NIP and bot side though. As TP is coming in. LWX, he's turning onto Fotik here. He hasn't gone down yet, oh but God. they get two back. As FPX should be able to chase down Shadow here. Chocho will flash as he does have a decent amount of damage back from Shadow. But care with the Tippers combo. There's just too many bodies for NIP to deal with. What? No! Oh, no. I didn't know we were handing out lollipops in the LPL as Chocho gives one right to the face of Fotik. NIV, don't click tab, don't the bottom lane, your ADC is... We'll get the flash out, but Hacker wants him. One auto oh, attack could do it, but he can't get him. Hacker getting low, getting down, slice and dice goes to the ground, though, as Invincible what? is gone, and FPX turned it on its head. The Glacial Prison is not enough, but he gets it back. Shadow just tries to get something. A triple kill for Care, who's stepping up for a second game in a row while we got the bot lane stepping up. Botic has the flash. That would have been connected, and that would have been another death. I'm no, 
Pop Blossom. That's a flash. That's big. They're trying to connect on LWS, but he's got the Feather Storm as well as the Blade Collar. And he's putting in the feathers. He's putting in the work, too. He lost Chocho, but he's not done yet. He's got a TP coming in for Pear. He's got the well. stun queued up, ready to go. And the feathers sink deep as Care gets himself a sixth kill. It's just getting from bad to worse for the side of NIP. They are getting so mumbled up in this mess, which is getting... Oh, look, gonna catch out Shallow, who top side with the rest of NIP, as they the should shorts, be able to yeah. lock this one down with the Rift Herald up here, too. Hacker will not be able to save the day here unless they can. Oh, my goodness! Shadow will take his third death, and FBX are just turning nothing into something every time. And NIP are actually looking to contest. Chocho was on a ward, and this is just a two-person man setup for FPX. They're bringing LWX, but Chocho's already down. LWX is the one you got to worry about, though, as Care's coming in for a big setup as well. Here's LWX flash. set up on the side, but it is FPX needing to run away. Uh, Shallow, who, though, he's looking like a little bit of a devil right now as he does get locked up. Okay, the angle does come alive, and Shadow gets the kill back. You know, that reminds me of something. The Chinese mm -hmm. community calls Angel... Gonna turn into a minion? What is he gonna do? Oh, he's not getting out of this one. This is a solo kill for Hacker. I mean, crap, a moment. Hacker just... Angela out of existence while Invincible does look for the trade tower. He... Joe goes for an FPX, pounce, throws down. Now you got the depth start on Photic, but they can't get around the angle. And now it is just one down. That's an unmanned fight. You know, the whole as land? Invincible is getting taken out again. Oh my God, somebody call Homeland Security. I don't know. Somebody's got to save NIP here as the Rift Tail just gets burned out in the mid lane. It's NIP trying to go back on the Chocho. -cho. Oh, NIP want a little bit of fight action here, though, as the Feather Storm has been used, waiting for that Blade Collar behind. as it does come through. Pop Blossom from Angel. That's pretty bad if you look at what Shallow, who has been able to accomplish, and NIP are scared. They backed off of that. They see Shadow might find it, though. They flash in on LWX. He goes golden, though, and that's really rough. The Pop Blossom the comes angle. in. Big combo with Inferno, and that's the Wombo you needed, NIP. They finally put the Peels of Pieces together. They need to get out. I mean, oh, Shalahu is no. looking. That's a big engage from Shalahu, but he just gets immediately focused. That was still four people you're going into, and that's a bit of a meat grinder. All right, look, Shalahu, you're not playing a 2020. Oh, and I think they're looking for the Baron. Be a little bit careful. Dominus is popped. There's the pop blossom. They turn immediately, but Fotic is focused on the Baron right now, and that just means LWX gets to fire away. The mispositioning there, and FPX are just tearing him a new one. The flash from Shalahu, and then NIP's indecisiveness ends up being their downfall. NIP secure the Baron, but at what cost? The Elder Dragon is available. They're just gonna look for the end. They have a mid. Next carrot just instantly TP. Hacker wasn't even there. It was a 3v4, I believe, and they still came out on top. So it just felt like FPX, they 